But the rebuild to make IFK Eskastuna and Oz Felskin team once again is underway. We are looking like a very good team in the third tier. We're told to get mid table, but we might be doing better than expected. And that, for me, is a really good sign. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jella TV. I'm J Lab and this is Football Manager 20. 22, the master rebuilder with Eskastuna. We are looking very, very good so far. And we're about to take on a team that's in second place in the form of Sand Vikings, who are being pretty strong themselves and are the only unbeaten side in the division. We've lost the game. We're going to go over the match we've had since we last met. And what have we been doing? The first game we had since we last met was against Vazelund away from home, and we took the lead inside 33 minutes after Madinga scores his first goal of the season, and I thought, yes, we're going to have another win. We're going to be good. We then could see equalise in the 53rd minute of the game, despite our best attempts, and it was a good header from Lindvitz, and I thought, okay, we can continue on from this. Then this goal happened, and I, I still don't know how this happened, but we get the ball back, Franson, and then he gives it away to Olstrom, and the keepers are stranded with no way of getting back to in goal. And we lose thanks to that calamitous goal. So, yeah, not our finest moment. We lose 2 1, our first divvy of the year, and they had just two shots on target. I don't need to say anything else, do I really? Still, we bounce back in the next match, and inside 12 minutes, we all 1 0 up. Enna finds Verhanabik, and Verhanabik does what he does best and score goals for us. So, he's doing really well, and we make it 2 0 inside 18 minutes. Anderson finds Aina, he does another really good ball, he finds Madinga, he finds Vahanovic, and Abik gets second of the game. We're 2-0 up inside 80 minutes, and we win 2-0. So, if I didn't know any better, i say we found a really strong team here, and this team is really good in their day. We were unfortunate to have lost the last game, when we were the much better team, but we had no complaints about this one we won 2-0 and we deserve to be winners the next match we had was against Delcut, and this is the hardest game yet and we were behind inside 36 minutes after Montagelica finds the ball in and finds Katasantunis to give the opening goal but though we equalize and though Kovic with the header from a corner inside 57 minutes and I thought yes we're doing well then we scored again another corner male mobile people coming up from the bench to score in the 92nd minute of the game, to ensure we get all three points, I thought we were going to draw, but no, we won, and I couldn't have been happier. A really good result here. The next game we had was against Talby, and we are 1-0 up inside four minutes. Christensen plays in the middle, finds Larson, he gets two attempts, and he's not missing the second time, so Christensen does not get the assist, sadly, for him. But we do make it 2-0 inside 40 minutes. Anderson finds Aina, Aina finds... The ball through to find Jerry Silstrom, and he scores his first goal of the season. Before we make it free, inside 36 minutes, Christensen again involved, finds Hedstrom. Hedstrom plays the cross. He finds Larson, and Larson scores his second of the game. We've got a strong team where we can actually rotate, and we don't feel like a weak inside for it. And it's a lovely situation to be in. We had a goal rolled out later on for a chance to make it four, but by that point, we're already so far ahead. The Better team that we almost didn't need it. The next game we had was against AFC Eskastuna, and we took the lead inside 30 minutes after Monterrey does that. Really good finish, gets his way past Saar, and we lead 1 0. Before 71 minutes in, we make it 2. Anderson with this ball through to for Hanabik. Abik powers it in 2 0. We we're in control, we deserved the win, and they had just three shots on goal, not on target. We absolutely decimated them. And the manager got sacked after losing this game. So we, we may just got our main rivals manager sacked after we beat them 2-0 at their ground, which is also our ground. Yeah, I don't know what else. Is, I don't know how to feel about this, but yeah, we sh we ground share this team and Eskastun the City. So more world. The last game we had was at home against Podens, and we were side two minutes leading. Vaughn with the opening goal. We make it two inside six minutes after Simon Madinga finds for Hanabik and Keeper makes an absolute hash of that, but we get the goal anyway. 2-0. Before we score from his free kick, Aina finds Andokovic. Andokovic scores again. 
They do get a goal back in the same half, unfortunately for us. So the clean sheet is dead. But Bergren finds Stenson. He scores. And I thought, okay, we've done well with the goal win. Now, we win 3-1. But apparently this goal here by Simon was ruled out incorrectly. I don't know if this is offside. I haven't, I haven't actually checked. But Aina plays his ball through. No, he doesn't. He finds Anderkovic. He finds Vern. He finds Lakel. He finds Bertson. Apparently, this goal's ruled out incorrectly, and I don't know if that's the case, but Bertson plays a cross, finds Simon, and maybe it is. Maybe that is off offside, but not supposed to be offside. I don't know what to think of that, but I don't know. But apparently, that was incorrectly ruled offside, and we still won regardless. So maybe, just maybe, we're lucky or not. I actually don't know. I couldn't get a better angle. Actually... Let's check this again. I'm very curious. Again, can I get a better angle this time? Uh, TV sideline? Let's look sideline. Is this offside? Because we're looking at Simon's approach here. So Aina plays it through. We've already seen this part. We're looking at this next part. Is this offside? And let's actually lower the height. Yeah, lower the height. Burstum plays it across. Think he is off. I actually don't know, but apparently the fans didn't think it, so I don't know what to think of it. But either way, what's your view? What's your view on it? Is that offside or not? Because I genuinely don't know. Doesn't matter though. We still won regardless, and I can't complain. In fact, the win means we're actually now top of the table by three points. So five wins in a row has done that for us. We could extend that lead to the top to six points at most. And five points at worst if we win the next game against San Vicens, who we are hosting. So that's nice. We also have Hanig afterwards. So, yeah, two teams. Well, we don't have Hanig afterwards. We have Galfi afterwards, who are also in the top four. So we're taking on the two, three teams in the top four with us in the next three matches. So this period could be very important for our chances of promotion if we genuinely believe we can do it. I'm actually a little concerned by the idea of being promoted this year because I don't think the squad is good enough for promotion next year, even if we are expected to be in sixth place right now and one of the bad teams. I also have to acknowledge that we are potentially going to struggle a little bit. So, I don't know. It's one of those things. Now, the fact we've taken on Vassalun's Belkart and SS Tuna already is a good sign and we've beaten two of them and lost to the other one. This team for Barcelona's, and we dominated all three of them, apart from Delcott, who actually had the better team in our game. I don't know what to think, but either way, we've got a strong team. We're taking a Sam Vikings today, and today could be a massive moment for the title, which I can't believe I'm saying this already, as if it's a thing I should be focusing on. I'm still thinking mid table's a goal for now, but if we build on a big enough lead, I will start to believe we can win the title, and... I don't know, maybe the title is something I should focus on more. But still, we're looking good. And I may have also upset... I think I upset you. I, I think I upset Jerry. I've actually... He's also an Arsenal supporter, that's hilarious. Arsenal supporter, he knows English. But yeah, I upset Jerry once upon a time. And I turned him down from a star strike, star player, to a regular starter. Apparently, he's already getting upset about how I'm treating him, but she's a little concerned. But, yeah, I end up being able to change his playing time. He's no longer got the unhappy thing with me, so that's nice. And, yeah, that's a thing I need to worry about. But looking at the team, it's pretty much the strongest we can put out. And I say that. Yeah, it's the strongest we can put out right now. So, we've got Matal Kakasuyas in goal. With Franson, Edekovic, Vern and Bertstrom in the back line. Oscar Aina, who's been amazing so far. Really, really good signing. I think he's got seven assists already, which is ridiculous. Anderson and Lakel in midfield. Simon on the right. Montari on the left. And Fahanabik up front. The only player we don't have right now is Mohamed, who is back in 6 to 12 days. So he should be back for the second half of the season, mostly. So that's a good sign for our point of view. And hopefully we can win today. Still, I think we've got a good strong team here. The favourites right now to do really well. And I look at this and I think this is probably the best tactic I've ever had in terms of what I've been able to do. And I thought I've shown it worked with Shalawar. 
and now Eskastuna. And I think we had a Moderna version of this as well, which was slightly different, but still practically the same thing. I think the 4 3 v works. So, yeah, we've got a good team. We've got a good situation. Let's see what we can do in this game and hope we can get all three points and extend our lead to the top. Because we want to do that for a chance of getting promoted, don't we now? I genuinely believe this could be our toughest test so far, but we have a free kick right now. They've got players injured. Um, Modinga plays in the middle. Trying to find Vern has done it. Anderson, Anderson scores. Uh, Bill Anderson has got the goal. And apparently, there's a mistake by the defender here. But we have our lead inside 28 minutes. A very good goal here. And Vern finds Anderson. And yeah, the defenders try to go for it. And he's completely missed it. And it's 1-0. So I've done a lot of talking, I've realised. And we've not seen much more apart from that one highlight so far in this game. Which is slightly disappointing. But as things stand, we are six points clear of Sand Vikens. Who are the only unbeaten side in the league. So to beat them would send a huge statement to everyone else. And we'll be six points clear as well. With six straight victories, which quite frankly is probably the best thing I can wish for right now. We're looking very, very good. And BK Forward are actually doing well against Hanik, who are not set to do really well this year, but that's still a good sign from our point of view. 1 0, this half time scoreline. Okay, so they got a goal kick. And I like to think that despite I think we can be good, we do have some tired players out there. I I feel like I've been playing these players too much and not rotating as much as I could do, which I think could also be, it could be a hindrance. Also, at the same time, could be very good on that. It's a very long ball. I genuinely am surprised he kept it in, but okay. Here's Alcide. Now, we need to do well here. I've told two of my players to ease off their tackles, Aina and Andokovic, because they've been booked already. And now, Mohamed under the chance. He's got he's a top goal scorer for them in the league this year. And Alcide on the ball. This is really good football. They play Tikka Taka style and El Saeed with a chance and a good save for Kakasios. I'm not going to say his full name, but Kakasios with, with the save right now. And that's a good start. That's the first start like, I've seen from San, uh, San Vicenza. And it's been a very good situation to be in where they can say they could still fight back. Makes it interesting. Even if I don't want to be interesting, I want to be routine and simple. But they got a chance again. And I thought the highlight was already over. I thought it was going to just die out, but no, it hasn't. And Mohamed. Nikolson, El Saeed. Oh my god, Mohammed is in. He's at the post. Okay, never heard. Suddenly, it's not looking as comfortable as I thought it would be. And maybe, just maybe, I should be a little concerned as Asuri finds Mohammed. Mohammed's in. And again, Kako Sios with the save. And, well, suddenly, they've come alive in the second half. It's almost as if they were just sleeping in the first half and have only just turned up now. And another highlight. If this ends up being another highlight, I might have to change my line a little bit because I genuinely didn't think I'd have to worry about this so much. But no. Christensen, ball through it, and Andokovic gets there first. Good defending. Here's Aymar now. Motari, who will need to come off in a bit, but Fernandabic. Fernandabic! Oh, he scored! Just when I was getting concerned about our chances, we take a 2 0 lead. And Montari and Fernandabic not being great until this moment. The ball through to Fernandovic and Fernandovic's first time effort finds the back in the net. I'm going to take them off anyway because they're both tied, but still 2 0. Really good start. Okay, so 2 0 scoreline. I've been bitten by this in the past, so I am not 100% certain we're going to win this game still. But 2 0, a good scoreline to have regardless. And Nicholson makes the bad ball, Francing intercepts instead. And here's Kakosios. Uh, he's trying to find Jerry. He's not found Jerry, but Anderson's going to get there instead. His son, Madinga, who is very good. I'm probably saying his name wrong the entire time, but Nicholson with a good circle again. Here's Jerry now. Simon, Jerry, Franson. What can Franson do with the cross? Finds Simon, and oh, Antonius denied. That could have been free. We're looking like a team that wants this victory now, and Simon can play us in the middle. Who can he find? Verm? No. Alright, good save in the end. Another chance again. Here's Anderson. This might actually be lacking a little bit, I think, about it. But Aina, Anderson, Simon, Jerry, and Simon's in. He's hit the post. No. Come on. We win 2 0, and that's a good scoreline. But Burtson was looking a bit tired at the end, and that's a little concern for me. I don't want Burtson to be having problems. He did get 6.5 racing as well, which is not ideal. And Antonio's also 6.5 rating. I've had issues with Antonio's. He tries to get a new contract and then decides he... I was up upsetting or something with his training. 
He's playing poorly. He deserves to be punished. So I ask you this now. Could a second straight promotion be on the cards or not? Because this is a best performance I was expecting. I thought we'd struggle a bit more than we have. And yeah, we've got the best goal difference by country mile. We lead two by six points. And that's after eight matches. It's only a quarter of the way through the season. So I know I can't absolutely say we're getting promoted. But really, I'm excited about this. It's a really good start of the year. And I believe we have a good team now. And we can do a lot of good things. We just need to keep the gap to six points for the entire season at the very least. And we will be golden. I think I didn't make that many signs. And it's already proven to be a good decision, isn't it? And Bertson's out for two to three days. Not the end of the world. We've got another left back, which is fine. And yeah, Bertson. We've got Christensen who can come in, and that's fine. Christensen's been upset with a lack of games in many ways, so we can work with that. What we are going to do, though, is end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video, and that you subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out a lot. Leave away. Until next time, goodbye, and well, good night.